Hello, and welcome to OfficeNoob.com. My name is Kyle Pugh. During this session, I want to take you through another question that I've been asked quite a few times inside of my Microsoft Excel course about utilizing the VLOOKUP, but being able to use the VLOOKUP with multiple criteria. If you're not familiar with the VLOOKUP, I suggest that you take a look at the VLOOKUP. It's a very popular, very powerful function built into Microsoft Excel, but it has some limitations. And one of those limitations deals with this question that I get. I want to be able to look up a value related to another value, but in this case, I need it to look for a value based on multiple values. Does that make sense? Let me show you. I'll put it in front of you. I've got the example file that's going to come with this blog post. Feel free to download it. You can practice right along with me. You can take it further if you like, whatever you want to do with it, but I suggest that you download this file. So here's the scenario. On the yearly stat sheet, I've got a table. Now looking at this table, perhaps this got dumped down from some other system or wherever it came from. It's got a few columns. It's got the player column, their names. It's got the year and it's got how many goals and how many assists those players within those years got. Now this helper column is going to help me out with one of the scenarios. So ignore that for right now. What I want to be able to do is I want to be able to find a player and find out how many goals they have, but I want it to be for a specific year. Okay. So normally I could use the VLOOKUP and say, Hey, go find the player name, find Pavelski and tell me how many goals that person got. Well, the problem is, that Pavelski shows up in here one, two, three times because there's three different years worth of data. So now I need to inform the VLOOKUP to not only look for Pavelski, but look for the specific year that I want. So look for Pavelski 2016 and tell me how many goals Pavelski scored that year. That's what I want to get. So I want to look up data with multiple criteria. All right, so there's a couple different ways that you can do this. You could do this by creating what, what I'm going to call a helper column. This helper column is going to take two values, in this case, the name of the player and the year, and combine them together into one value. Then I can use that within my VLOOKUP. It's really one value that I'm searching for because I've combined them into one column. So I do something like this. I create the helper column. I'm going to jump in there. I'm going to create a formula. And all this is going to do is take A2, just doing it for the first record right now. I'm going to use the ampersand, which is your concatenate character or your combined character. And I'm going to grab the 2016 there for row number two. Okay. And that's it. Just taking Pavelski, and I'm going to combine that with 2016. That's the formula right there. I'll hit my Enter key. And there's the combination of those two values. And then I can copy that down. There we go. Let's make that a little wider. So Thornton 2016, Burns 2016, repeats it for 2017, repeats it for 2018. Done. So now, really I've taken the two bits of criteria that I want, the player name and the year, and I've combined them into one value. So now I can create a VLOOKUP that searches for goals or assists, whatever we're looking for, based off of that new helper column. Let's try it out. I'm going to go to the one called Goals with Helper. Now, I've already created it. It's right there. You can really dissect that formula and take a look at it. I'm going to delete it out of there, and I'm going to recreate it. All right, this is going to be a simple little VLOOKUP. So I'm going to be inside of B2. I'm going to say equals VLOOKUP. I'll open up my parentheses. And to make it a little bit easier, they do give us the little pop-up that tells us all about the arguments that we need. But I'm going to hit the little FX button. This will open up my argument window perhaps make it a little bit cleaner, a little bit easier to work with. So my lookup value, remember I'm trying to find goals and I want goals for the three different years and for the different players. Well, remember our prior list, it had a column of names and it had a column of years. Well, I need to be able to combine those two together and then search that helper column that I have. So my lookup value, I'm gonna grab the first player, Pavelski, it's A2. Now, eventually, 
I'm going to end up copying this down and to the right. So I'm going to lock down the uh, cell. I want to make sure that it doesn't change. And really, I, I really only need to lock down the A column. So I'm going to, with my cursor sitting right there inside the A2 reference, I'm going to tap my F4 key and kind of cycle through the absolute references. And really, I just need the A column to be absolute in this case. So as I drag it to the right, it'll stay inside row two. That's just because I'm still inside row two, but it'll lock in A column. When I drag it down, it'll move to the third or fourth or fifth column because I didn't make the, the uh, excuse me, the row. I didn't make that absolute, but it'll stay in the A column. And then I'm gonna use my ampersand character again, and I'm gonna grab the 2016, and I'm gonna lock that down. I'm gonna lock down just the row reference. So you can see I got now I have Pavelski 2016 there. All right, so now I've told it what to look for. The next step in the VLOOKUP is to tell, well, where am I gonna look for this at? So now I'm gonna to go to Table Array, go back to Yearly Stats, and with the VLOOKUP, that column that you're searching in order to find goals or assists has to be the first reference within the Table Array. So I'm gonna start inside of C2, and I'm gonna grab all that data right there. From C2 down to E19, I'm gonna make that absolute, hit my F4 key, puts all the dollar signs in for me. Great. Now the next thing it wants to know is call index num. Okay, well, here's what I'm looking for. The combination of A2 and B1 back on the goals with helper worksheet. Table array told it where to find it. Now it wants to know within that table array, which column do you wanna return back? So helper column's number one, that's the one that we're searching, but I want to return goals, which is in column number two. So for call index num, I'll say number two. Range lookup, I'm going to put false in here because I want to find the exact match. Then I can see already that Pavelski scored 29 goals for the year 2016. I'll hit OK. And let's just confirm that. Pavelski 2016, 29. And there it is. Pavelski 26 got 29 goals. And I can now just copy that, drag it down, get all the rest of the stats or goals for the players. And I can drag that to the right and get the rest of them for the various years. And I've now created a VLOOKUP with multiple criteria, all by using what we'll call a helper column. It's a column that's not normally there. We have to create it. But in this case, it's just combining the two values that we need in order to search for the specific goal amount or assists if you're doing assists. So that's one method. I like the helper column, I use them all over the place, but in some cases, you don't wanna change the integrity of your original list. In this case, I had to add a whole new column. Well, there's gonna be cases where you just can't do that for formula purposes or just the integrity of the data, whatever it is. I don't wanna add and, and disrupt the original set of data. So there's another method. This is a little more involved inside the formula, but it'll give us the same results. So here, I'm gonna to go to the goals worksheet. Got the same thing as the goals with helper worksheet. Got a formula in there already, and you can take a moment, you can dissect that. There's quite a bit going on in here. I got the VLOOKUP, that's what we need. Remember, we're gonna be looking up a value. I've got the combination of A2 and B1 again. That's necessary, we need to be able to find the multiple criteria, the player's name, as well as the year. But now I'm using the choose function. There we go, I'm just gonna highlight it inside of the formula, right there. That's the second part of the VLOOKUP, that's the table array section. Well, our table array, because I'm not using a helper column, I'm gonna create a little table kind of dynamically on the fly as the formula is executed. So here the choose function takes, in this case, it's actually got three parameters in there. It's got the indexed columns that we're gonna search. There's, a, there's gonna be two columns inside this dynamic table that we're gonna create. It's gonna have a first column labeled number one. It's gonna have a second column labeled number two. And then we've got the A2 through A19, combining that using the ampersand, combining that with B2 through B19 on the yearly stats sheet. So let me hop out of here. So really all we're doing is we're taking this column a2 through A19, and we're combining that with B2 to B19. 
So we're dynamically creating this column within the choose function that takes the player's name and their year and combines them together, just like our helper column did. Just like that right there. But we're doing it within the formula itself, within the VLOOKUP, actually within the choose function. And then the last argument is from that yearly stat sheet is the D2 through D19. That's the goals column. Let's just confirm. D column, D2 through D19 is the goals. So within this choose function, oops, we're just creating a nice dynamic table that's utilizing two columns from, it's actually three, because we're combining two of them together, two columns from the yearly stat sheet. And we're just labeling them as one and two. And then the VLOOKUP will say, okay, from that new dynamic table that you just created right there, we're gonna pull the second column, which is the D2 through D19 portion. There's all this over here, A2 to A19 and B2 to B19, is the combination of those two to really create one column. So once again, quite a bit going on inside there. So you sit here and think about it, dissect it, really get a feel for how that works uh, before you really move forward here. But let's try creating it. So I'm just gonna delete that out. Let's get rid of that. And once again, I'll say VLOOKUP. Okay. My lookup value, I'll hit the FX, just open up that window. So my lookup value is gonna be Pavelski, Remember, we want to lock down the column, combine that with the year. We want to lock down the row. Remember, F4 is your function key just to toggle through the, the absolute reference types. The table array, this is where it gets tricky, so I bring in the choose function. And my choose function, once I got choose open parentheses there, I'll go click on the choose up in my formula bar. This will change me to my choose arguments. So the first part is the index num. And I'm going to create two columns here. And I'm wrapping that inside of the curly braces. That represents an array. We're creating an array or a collection, really a table. A table of two columns and some amount of rows. So the first column within that array that we're creating is going to be yearly stats. It's going to be A2 down to A19, and I'll lock that down, F4. Then I'm gonna combine that ampersand with the year, B2 to B19, and I'll lock that down. All right, and then the second part of that array that we're creating, value number two, is gonna be the goals. D2 through D19, F4, lock that down, get the dollar signs in there, and that's looking great. So now the choose is done, I've created this table dynamically. I'm now gonna go back to VLOOKUP and I'll tell it, well, from that table that we created, which really only has two columns, we want the column index number two, which is the D column, that, that goals portion, and range lookup, we want the exact match, so I'm gonna put false in there. So I'll hit okay. There's our 29, hopefully no surprise there, that's what Pavelski scored for 2016. There's the rest of the players. Then I drag that over to get the rest of the years. So in this case, it's all just one formula. A little more complex, though, because we're dropping choose in there. We're dynamically creating a table kind of on the fly. And we don't have to rely on the helper column that disrupts the original data set. So this is all about becoming a little more efficient with our VLOOKUP and allowing us to specify multiple criteria within your VLOOKUP. So make sure you try this out. Download the file, it's part of this post. You can take a look at the formulas that are already in there. I've already saved that. Take a look at those. Once you get a feel for it, start creating on your own. If you need to, rewind the video, whatever you need to do. You got questions, jump into the comments. Let me know what you got. Hopefully you enjoyed this one and watch out for some more videos as we continue learning Excel.